About three years ago, I made this video talking about Troll Store, which is a means of sideloading applications onto your iOS device so long as you fall under the right iOS versions. Some people use Alt Store to accomplish this, which is great, you know, it does have a limit on the number of certificates you can use, which limits the number of apps you can do, or you can have a uh, Apple developer account, which is $99 a year, so uh, a subscription for sideloading. I was also recommended Scarlet, which is another great means of installing IPAs. The one thing being, you know, you do get the uh, permanent sideloading of as many as you want. The one thing is, if uh, Apple revokes the certificate, uh, all the apps stop working. It happened to me. I was very sad. And that's why I'm still gonna stand by this. Troll Store is king. My argument here isn't that it's perfect, it's just to me, it's the best possible option. The only downside that I've ran into with it is, again, you are locked to specific iOS versions that are compatible with it, which uh, has actually been expanded upon since I made that uh, last video to the point where now we can run it up to iOS 17.0. And that actually brings up another issue is that Apple only lets you install, you know, signed IPSWs, which is just, you know, the firmware files. Uh, the problem is, again, you know, we have to go way back down here to uh, find ones that are compatible and they are no longer signed. Which means you need one of two things, okay? You either need to have an exploit available for the iOS device you're working on that lets you downgrade to a compatible version, or you need to find one that uh, already has an iOS version, which is, well, rather difficult, admittedly. And when you're trying to find one that's on the uh, right firmware version, uh, when you're looking for iPhones, well, uh, scalpers. Scalpers suck. But the good news is they missed the memo on iPad. As an example, we have this iPad Air 5th generation on iOS 15.5 for only $390, which honestly, that's not a horrible deal considering what you're going to be able to do with this feature. But I bet you're wondering, why are we talking about this again after almost three years and, well, iPad? I was able to grab this 6th generation iPad Pro on eBay running iOS 17.0. And this is the perfect device for what we're trying to do, because not only is it running iOS 17.0, which is the latest iOS that is compatible, which means broad app compatibility, but it's also running the latest processor, the uh, M2, um, so, you know, we get the most power we can possibly get out of it. Only downside with this one is this is the 256 gigabyte model, which means it has 8 gigs of RAM. You know, you could get 16 gigs of RAM with some of the, uh, the larger versions, but uh, then you run into the rarity issue, because again, you need to find the exact iOS version, which I couldn't believe it when I found this one, so it was just like, okay, buy it. And so far, I haven't done anything with this, so let's go ahead and install Troll Store. So first, we're going to go to ios.cfw.guide forward slash installing dash Troll Store, and we're going to get this big list right here, okay? We're going to have the iOS versions that are compatible on this side, and then we're going to have the processors up here. And you just need to know two things about your device, you know, what iOS version are you on, and uh, what processor does it has. Uh, Google is your friend, and same with the, uh, the settings app, uh, General About. And as you can see, there are a bunch of different methods to uh, installing Troll Store, but if we look at my version here, okay, it's 17.0, okay, so we're going to follow it here, and, you know, we're already saying all the processors are here, well, except for that one, okay, that's not applicable. Uh, we are using an M2 device, so I'm going to be using a Troll Restore. And that guide is going to take you to a new guide. In this case, mine's going to be for uh, Troll Restore here, and then, you know, you just go through and you follow the instructions as they have it listed. They're all a little bit different, so make sure you just follow along, like, uh, line for line, don't ignore anything. So at this point, I've tried now Windows and Linux to do this setup, uh, neither of which decided they want to work with me. It could be something I'm doing, so I'm going to try a Mac. So I installed Python 3, I grabbed myself the uh, latest Silicon Mac Troll Restore uh, app image, and now we're going to see what it do. And before I start the process, I hooked up the uh, iPad to the Mac here and uh, made sure that it was trusted. That way, well, it can do what I need to do. Oh my god, progress. So at this point, we're replacing a system app on the iPad, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the uh, Tips app, so I tap that in and I'm going to press enter. And the iPad screen has gone black and it's doing a little bit of magic. I mean, look, it's doing a thing. And the iPad is booting back up, and that's going to cause it to respring the device, so we're just going to sign back in. And check it out, we got Troll Store. Now that we have it installed, we're going to go ahead and open up Troll Store, and we're going to go to settings. From settings, we're going to go to install persistence helper, and we're going to select tips if that's the uh, app that you used as well. And that's it. Now we can install, you know, unofficial applications, patched applications, you know, older versions of applications. There's a lot of use cases. And as a test run, I want to install UTM, which uh, lets you run virtual machines on the device. That way, you know, you can do all kinds of crazy extra things. More specifically, we're going to install the Troll Store version, which is a UTM hypervisor, uh, which is, uh, well, it's faster. So I click here to download the IPA file. After it's done downloading, we're going to go ahead and press right here. Okay, it's going to open up there. We press the share button up top here, and we click on Troll Store, and that's going to give us this pop-up here. We'll press install, and it's going to install the application. Now, it might ask for a reboot, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot. And in my case with UTM, it asked me to uh, enable developer mode, which is fine. I, I don't plan to do anything too serious on this iPad. And as we can see, we have the UTM app, which uh, we can just open up, and guys, it just works. So after all this work, what is the benefit of this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You know, sideloading lets you add whatever you want to your device. You know, again, old versions of applications 
applications, unofficial applications, patched applications, which, uh, let me tell you some of my favorite use cases. One of the first use cases that come to mind is emulation. In this case, people are emulating the switch on the device. They're using this emulator called Melo NX, which, uh, again, you need the IPA file right here, then you sideload it to the device with whatever sideloading method you want, and it just works. Honestly, though, my most used feature is, uh, patched applications, like, uh, this. It's, uh, you know, it lets you use this popular, uh, uh video sharing platform without all the crappy ads, and you can add, you know, uh, block, uh, sponsorships. Like, I gotta be careful with my wording here, because I don't want to get banned! And I hope people are using applications like this when they watch my content, because it's the best way to watch it, and I don't want you guys to suffer. And another thing that's a little harder to demonstrate is if you were to back up, you know, your IPAs, uh, you know, as you're using your device, you know, this would require, like, a jailbreak, but it is possible, then you could sideload them again, like these older versions, in case, you know, maybe they put in features you don't like, maybe it doesn't work on your device after, you know, years, because, oh, we wanted to beef up the specs, or whatever, okay? This lets you continue to use the things you've already paid for, uh, you know, uh, without it getting revoked, or, you know, just breaking. Or in the case with UTM, I simply want to be able to run virtual machines, you know, I want Linux on here, I want Windows, I've seen people do, like, uh, legacy versions of Mac OS, I just want to push it to see how far it can go, and, you know, uh, this is the best way to do it. Oh, but you can get UTM SE right on the App Store, you know what that SE stands for? Slow edition, it's crap. So in short, guys, the whole reason that you want to be able to sideload things is it gives you the freedom to do what you want to do with your device, even if Apple says, you know, they, they don't want you to, you know, I, I don't care what Apple thinks, okay, I want to, you know, use the thing I paid for. Or in other words, it gives you an expanded feature set that Android gives you by default. Like, no disrespect, okay, I would be a daily iOS user if I could just sideload, I just want to be able to sideload, Android just says, hey, do it. But that's a video for another day, I will make a video where I break down iOS versus Android with these bizarre use cases that I have where, you know, I, I want to be able to sideload stuff and, you know, just showing the experiences you can get on both of them. But uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, guys, that's just a short rundown on Troll Store. Again, you don't need to worry about, like, the certificates expiring, losing your apps. You know, you don't have to worry about running out of certificates and not being able to install more apps. And you don't need to pay a subscription to, you know, get more certificates. It just works. So long as you're on the right iOS version, which is, uh, is mandatory. But I hope you guys had fun with this video, too. I'm going to be doing follow-ups on this iPad where we uh, try out UTM and some other, like, patched applications and whatnot to show what you can really do with this device. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, follow, share, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.